Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PFX. I hope you're all doing great despite these lockdowns we have. And uh, yeah guys, as usual we're gonna take a look at all the majors including oil and gold. So while I roll the intro and disclaimer, please guys hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys, um, quick look at the calendar. Uh, we have a couple of speech that we need to keep an eye at. On Tuesday we have uh, Fed Chair Powell. On Wednesday we have um, BOE Governor Bailey to speak. On Thursday we have uh, RBA Governor Lowy to speak. <laughs> also we have uh, on Thursday flash service PMI from the UK and we have flash manufacturing PMI from the US. And uh, again, Fed Chair Powell to speak Friday. We have retail sales from UK and we have uh, from Europe service, services PMI and manufacturing PMI. So Friday going to be very important for the euro and uh, maybe the DAX as well. So keep an eye on that. Uh, if we take a look at the um, charts, we start with the Dixie as usual. We're looking at the daily chart uh, and the weekly. Uh, we see that we had a very strong uh, weekly candle on the dollar. Uh, it did fill the whole week that we have uh, from the previous week here. And um, looking at the daily chart, we see that we have uh, our first higher low now. After this uh, move to the downside like this, we have a higher low. And uh, since then, the market uh, held uh, above monthly pivot point and above the NFP low and uh, kept pushing higher toward monthly R1 where it is uh, our uh, old uh, resistance area that we've been talking about for a while now so uh, looking at that at the moment seems like we have some kind of um, build up here for a possible break to the upside and maybe a retest of these uh, these levels at around um, 190 ish area uh, going down to the four hour time frame, you see the same pattern here. We uh, start getting higher lows and uh, we see so possible build up for that uh, break out to the upside. There is a possibility that we see this uh, move uh, breaking higher and testing these previous highs where we have a possible uh, resistance. So the, the major range is still the same. We are looking at this uh, range uh, on the dollar and uh, this, uh, it is still the same situation. This market is still in a range now, long term range for a while. And um, yeah, that break to the upside is very possible to reach that previous high. Looking at oil, we see that oil did uh, break higher, uh, broke out of the range. So above this previous high and above this previous high now, uh, this is signaling a possible continuation toward the uh, 36 area toward this uh, swing high here, uh, especially if uh, next week um, we have an open above this area and um, we hold above that level, we may see that continuation. So oil been trading in a very narrow uh, range last week uh, and um, prior to that as well, we had this uh, little range here. Uh, that got broken now and uh, we we saw some continuation higher so uh, since we have a break out of the range now we may see uh, as i said a possible continuation to this uh, previous high so uh, keep an eye on that any uh, retest back down here that hold above uh, this broken structure we may see continuation especially if we see a retest toward this level we may see continuation to the upside on oil uh, gold pushed higher um, uh, last uh, week so uh, it did test uh, the previous highs of the range so we had the gold inside the, this range here and uh, as you see we we had a continuation to tag these previous highs and uh, that is where the market did stop uh, for a while this uh, up here could be some profit taking but if we look at it on the one hour time frame we do actually have a, a break above uh, this swing as well um, like that 
and um, yeah uh, if it hold above i still see the 1800 is a possible level for gold uh, for a possible continuation but uh, if there is a failure to hold above the level and the market uh, start pushing back down inside the range there is a possibility for another rotation to the downside that would be still a ranging market for now even though we had a little push higher still no daily close there was no daily close above this previous high that is needed for that uh, continuation toward the 1800 on this market EURUSD also still um, in some kind of consolidation so it's been consolidating uh, inside this area here but if we look at the chart we do have a lower high now we all the wicks are coming from the upside and there is a potential um, uh, pressure here to break below monthly s1 if that would be the case next week we may see a continuation to the downside on uh, the euro looking on the lower time frame we see that <coughs> the 200 moving average on the four hour been tested a couple of times start uh, pointing uh, strongly to the downside We've got a lower high here after this impulse, so we got a lower high and we probably may see a, another leg to the downside. So as I said, any break below this level that could uh, give the bears more um, confidence to keep pushing lower. Otherwise, we're still inside a range here and this is the bottom of it. So a rotation higher is also possible if the bulls will uh, defend this area. So when and if the market reached this level down here at around monthly S1, keep an eye on that for a possible uh, bullish defense from this area. That is also a possible scenario. So do not just see it as a bearish market and short it before, before the break. You need to wait for that break because as I said, we are still inside um, uh, this range here uh, this range still intact so um, as a range we need to buy the low sell the high and then if we have a breakout we uh, follow uh, that direction while for the sterling uh, it's much weaker um, than the euro as you see here uh, it broke below uh, major structure levels we had a double top at the 200 moving average continuation to the downside there was an attempt to push higher that fails and then we had a lower high and then another continuation lower below this uh, uh, structure so uh, the sterling looks uh, much uh, weaker and it is testing uh, this uh, key structure here that we have from um, back here since 2000 um, 16 17 this area been tested then we had uh, 2019 another low here that uh, may act as possible support as for now uh, it is still looking uh, pretty um, weak and uh, bearish and uh, we may see a potential retest and continuation so i think we should keep following these impulse correction impulse correction and so on and all those are still bearish so any retest toward this area at around 1.22 could be a possible level to sell at and look for a possible continuation any strong break below this that will signal continuation toward this previous low down here on uh, the sterling usd jappy um, still playing around here in this area but uh, since uh, we had this uh, strong impulse to the upside and another push lower that phase to go even lower we have a higher low now so um, this market have an inverted uh, possible inverted head and shoulder here and it may uh, keep pushing to the upside but we need to follow that market on the lower time frame so um, on the four hour we had this impulse we had a correction we still have that correction we failed uh, where well, the market failed to push uh, lower and make another lower low so um, based on that and since we didn't get a lower low one could consider a possibility for another retest and continuation higher so uh, keep an, uh, an eye on that but uh, if uh, the market would break below this structure then we're probably going for another retest of this area down here uh, what i'm looking for here and what's talking more for the bulls is actually this very strong impulse here that is um, now correcting and may give you some kind of bullish flag and a continuation to the upside okay otherwise this was a, um, a bearish market but then this uh, impulse here uh, showing that the bulls they may be uh, really mean it to push higher 
USD chief also um, a bit of a um, consolidation week last week as you see went sideways still failing to break lower and failing to break higher so test the, the 200 moving average failed to break higher above these levels but then the correction uh, didn't make uh, much uh, downside and we've got a, a possible higher low and that's why the potential for a push higher is still there it, this market is still squeezing as you see here and uh, we may when it gets uh, untradeable you will get a strong break either to the upside or to the downside while for now the potential for a an upside move uh, may get bigger if the market would break above these previous highs so if that would be the case and you see a break above these previous highs look for a retest and uh, continuation on this one USD CAD also um, still alive uh, inside this uh, range here. Uh, nothing has changed here. We are in the mid of the range right now. We've got a lower high and then we've got a higher low. So another market that is squeezing and not trending, uh, going sideways. And that's why it is better to play the, the bigger range, which is uh, support down here. If that retested, you look for a buy or the resistance up here. If retested, you look for a test, uh, sorry, uh, a sell until you see, a, uh, you see a break out of that. As for now, we still do not have a break out of that. And we are in the middle of the range. And I'm talking about this range here. Yeah so it is mid-range and we should not be um, <coughs> playing that because uh, from here the market uh, have no issues to move lower to the bottom of the range or to push higher to the top of the range but that then if that reach it you start looking uh, if the low got uh, tested you look for bullish evidence and a possible reversal or uh, vice versa from the top Aussie USD also um, uh, showing a little bit of a weakness since we did not have a new high here uh, the market failed to uh, make a new high so we've been putting higher highs all the time until here we failed uh, the market failed to make a new high and uh, start moving lower the support is still down here at this area this is a key support if broken then we are going for a, a retest of this structure down here uh, if we go down to the lower time frame like the four hour and the one hour you see that uh, the same view here this impulse was a strong one and then the uh, move to the upside failed to make a new high give you a double uh, possible double top scenario to then another lower high and so on so we kept getting those lower highs uh, as i said again this is the first support level and uh, you may see a bounce from here but if it fails and it breaks below that look for that continuation toward uh, this level down here at around uh, 0.62 500 uh, that is uh, the um, possible market objective the zealand botch weaker on that dovish statement we got from um, uh, new zealand uh, central bank and um, almost the same pattern uh, it been pushing higher to then fail to make a new high followed by bearish engulfing candle and then uh, another break below neckline and right now sitting at uh, a key support of structure and uh, a monthly s1 here so this market if we look on a higher time frame like the weekly we had a very uh, strong bearish engulfing candle on the weekly it wiped out uh, all four weeks uh, that came previous to that and on the monthly we still have this possible scenario impulse correct and another impulse that may end up here an a b c d uh, pattern here and um, as you see uh, the market is almost uh, wiping out um, most uh, of the previous month's uh, bullish move and um, let's not forget that uh, Mars was a, a bearish mark uh, month that broke a previous low so um, more and more uh, now evidence that we may see a continuation especially if we see a break below this structure any one day break below that look for a retest and probably continuation to the downside on New Zealand USD same uh, pattern is on the four hour time frame it is a clear structure and um, if broken we look for that continuation to the downside on that market so uh, yeah guys that was it for today thanks a lot and uh, see you next week bye bye